Did you know that every living thing from the tiniest bacterium to the largest well is made up of cells? But how did scientists come to discover this mind-blowing truth? Picture this, centuries ago, we had no idea that all life was built from tiny invisible units. It wasn't until the 17th century with the invention of the microscope that we even began to glimpse the mysterious world inside living organisms. But the real breakthrough came with the cell theory, a simple yet revolutionary idea that forever changed how we view life. So, what exactly is cell theory and how did it evolve over time? Who are the pioneers who shaped this discovery? And how did their observations lead to our understanding of everything from diseases to genetics? Stick with me because in this video, we are diving into the fascinating history of cell theory, uncovering the scientists behind it and seeing how this theory still shapes biology today. What is cell theory? Cell theory is a scientific theory that states that all living organisms are made up of cells and cells are the basic unit of life. The theory explains that all living organisms are composed of one or more cells. The cell is the basic unit of structure and function in organisms. All cells arise from pre-existing cells. Now you might be thinking, okay, cells are important, but why does this matter? Well, cell theory is essential because it helps us understand how life functions at the most basic level. From how your body repairs itself to how bacteria grow and divide, the cell is the building block. The history of cell theory. Let's rewind the clock and go back to the 17th century. This is where the story of cell theory begins. And it all starts with the invention of the microscope. Before microscopes, no one had any idea that cells even existed. 1. The invention of the microscope, a game changer. In the 1600s, Robert Hooke, an English scientist, invented a compound microscope. When he looked at slices of cork under his microscope, he saw tiny box-like structures. These looked like small rooms or cells, which is where the term cell came from. However, these cells weren't living. They were dead plant cells. 2. Anton van Leeuwenhoek Discovering Living Cells Around the same time as Hook, a Dutch scientist named Anton van Leeuwenhoek made a significant contribution. Van Leeuwenhoek improved the microscope and became the first person to observe living cells, specifically in pond water. He discovered microorganisms, which he called animalcules, and was amazed by the variety of single-cell organisms he saw. Example, Van Leeuwenhoek's observations of single-cell organisms, like bacteria and protozoa, helped shift the focus from just looking at dead plant cells to understanding the diversity of living cells. 3. The formalization of cell theory, Schwann and Schleiden. The real breakthrough in cell theory came in the 19th century, when two scientists independently contributed to our modern understanding of cells. Matthias Schleiden, a German botanist, discovered that all plants are made of cells. He observed that plant tissues were composed of cells, which was a major step in linking cells to the structure of living organisms. Theodor Schwann, a German zoologist, made a similar discovery in animals. He concluded that all animals are made of cells as well. Together, Schleiden and Schwann's findings laid the foundation for the first two parts of cell theory. All living organisms are made up of one or more cells. The cell is the basic unit of structure and function in organisms. 4. Rudolf Virchow, the final piece of the puzzle. The third part of cell theory, 
all cells arise from pre-existing cells was proposed by Rudolf Virchow, a German physician. He didn't invent the microscope or make new discoveries about the structure of cells, but his work showed that cells divide to form new cells. This was a crucial addition to the theory. Virchow's statement, omniscellula e cellula, Latin for all cells come from cells, emphasized that cells don't just appear randomly, they arise from other cells, which happens through processes like mitosis and meiosis. Example, think about how when you get a cut on your skin, your body repairs it by making new skin cells. These new cells are produced by the division of existing cells. The three main principles of cell theory. Let's break down the three core principles of cell theory once more. All living organisms are made up of one or more cells, Schleiden and Schwann. The cell is the basic unit of structure and function in living organisms, Schleiden and Schwann. All cells come from pre-existing cells, Warschau. Question of the day. Who is credited with the discovery of the cell? Only a genius can answer in the comments below. If you would like to watch my other lectures on topics like the lungs, kidneys, liver, brain and eyes, visit my channel to view my other videos.